Hey. Peace. Today is January the 11th, 2019. And, um, yeah, Happy New Year. This is the first video of the new year, even though I have uh, other videos coming that are going to be new, but those are going to be from 2018 because I haven't got around to uploading them. But this is my first video of 2019. Well, today is pretty much me just running my mouth and yapping, not really doing much gardening work because uh, one of my promises was to do more vlogging and to do more just uh, dialogue driven videos. So I hope you don't mind that change on the channel. But one thing that is going to change on the channel is a lot more. Look at that pillow. The wind. We had a windstorm uh, last night. Blew my pillow away down here from off the porch. And all the chickens are following me. That's cool. Why don't you get wet? Oh, poor boy. One thing that is going to change is uh, the content. Along with your standard gardening videos and how-tos and instructionals and just bits of life, there's other things that are going to happen too. Uh, other things involving more homeschooling, more day-to-day -day activity. For instance, as you saw in season three, we did things like uh, the food tasting and slight cooking and, you know, things like that. All things involving me as a man and my Theodora. So yes, it's gonna take a heavy, heavy emphasis on my uh, daddy-daughter relationship. She's getting older. And as you see, a little more, a little here, I incorporate her face more into the videos. When I first began, they were just shots of her from the side or from the back where I didn't really show her face too much. She was a young girl, I didn't want her out there. And the same thing, I'm still not gonna do a whole lot of you know, our face in the video. That's just not what this channel was about. This channel was about the vicarious living of people. It's about me, my lady, and my baby. So if you can get with that, then it's all good. My perspective of shooting, of just uh, my hands, and you see my little girl kind of tattering along. That's That's the father's side. That's the way I see life and that's just how I film and years later when Theodora looks back at these videos she'll be able to see as I saw you dig so that's just where I'm going so one of my biggest things I'm going down here to this mailbox because there's a piece of mail in here that's going to change my life uh, I got word that it was delivered it's going to change my life. It's going to change Theodora's life. And uh, perhaps it'll change the cats as we know it. Who knows? There's also a big change on the horizon. There's a project that me and the lady are working on behind the scenes. Uh, hopefully, we wanted to have it done by now, but things have arisen where it just couldn't be. And hopefully, by early February, I'm hoping, which is... My birthday month, February 2nd. Yes, I am a groundhog. I've gotten many of shadow jokes over the last years of my life. But there's a project that me and Lady are working on. And like I say, it'll change our lives for the better. It's going to change the channel. And uh, it'll make life better if it happens like I say it was supposed to be done but things happen so hopefully by the beginning of February as I was saying uh, it should all be in the works it won't be taken care of it'll be in the works well it's in the works now what I mean is it'll be solid that it's going to happen and then following after that you'll begin to see new types of videos and new types of vlogs happening and uh, yeah please come along for the ride you know 
I can't wait to uh, start seeding and sowing and doing my garden, my garden videos again. I want to start doing, uh, pretty soon we're going to start doing our winter sowing where we put our seedlings down in containers and put them outside. But if you, if you remember last season, this time, there was snow. There was snow all out here. We haven't had one snow this winter. Not yet. It's chilly enough for it. There's just no precipitation. But let me just go get this right here. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you what it is. So I got the mail, as promised. It's in there. I got my confirmation. So uh, let's take a run up here to the house, shall we? Now I'm going to run really, really, really fast. Okay? You ready? So I don't want you to be like, how do you do that? This is so amazing. I have superpowers. I'm extremely fast. I'm extremely light on my feet. And I'm going to make it to this house in no time. On your marks, get ready to eat some dust and gravel. Let's go. When you're good at what you do, everyone else wants to do it too. What? Come on inside. All right, and as promised, uh, this is the piece of mail that's gonna change me and my daughter's life. All right, here it is, I just got it open. I didn't open it yet, but I got it unwrapped. So let's take a deep breath and check this out. That's right, comic books. Theodora and I are getting into collecting comic books. I used to collect comic books way back in the 90s, and recently my uh, Theodora has discovered a couple of my comics and she completely fell in love with a couple of them. So I told her that this year we're gonna focus on uh, collecting comic books and, and getting whole collections. So what happened is, this issue right here of mine, I recently found and it was destroyed. And so it had no cover and it was just all messed up. So I threw it in the trash. I ordered it again and then I found uh, the other part to that series that I didn't have when I was a kid. So I decided to get uh, number 31 and number 32. With that being said, there's a pretty lengthy story on why I stopped collecting comic books in the 90s. And uh, I'll make a vlog on that coming soon where I run through the whole situation of how I got started, uh, my, my journey as I was collecting these many, many comics, and what ultimately led me to cease collecting comics. I was collecting everything from Valiant to Image, Marvel, DC, and it's just things that I like, you know. I wasn't a comic book nerd, but I did enjoy just reading good stories. And I'll share that with you in upcoming episodes uh, this season on The Garden Theodore. But <laughs> I want to thank you for rocking with the best. This is the father, Theodore. Do something positive. If you got kids, hug them, love them, tell them that you need them. If you kids got parents out there, I know my demographic is um, all over the place. But uh, for you kids that are watching this, if you got a dad or a mom, hug them. Tell them that you love them. Tell them you appreciate them. And uh, conversate over some good food tonight, shall you? And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora. And don't forget, please subscribe or just hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora.